thumbs up when we are already okay. Hey guys, it's me, Bentley. Welcome back to Being on Bentley Now. Today we're going to be talking about the moon phases. Yay! <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking will make me actually think this video is good because I'm trying my hardest about it. And I'll ask you two as people kept going and nothing. We don't talk about that. <laughs> and subscribing will actually help my channel so I can like do live streams about me doing these experiments and other stuff. I, <laughs> I don't know. So today we're going to be starting with this Oreo experiment. So this is wax. Sing crescent. Wait, don't forget the moon. The new, the, gosh. the new moon is the first uh, moon phase, and and it it's really hard to see at night because the sun isn't shining off of the moon. And then next we go on to the waxing crescent. You see a like a kind of nail shaped light heat, which makes it pretty easy to see, but not really because it's really thin. <laughs> next we have the waxing, I mean the first quarter I was about to say waxing because this oh that's right there, but that is the wax at first quarter. Or it is like think of it as the dark milk sign on some things, like the right pattern iPhone. It is one part dark and another part bright. Next and I almost ruined it for myself, waxing gibbous. It shows most of the moon, but not all of it. And then you have the full moon. Yay! <laughs> the full moon is just looking like a white piece of rock. Because it actually is, kind of. And that means that the sun is reflecting fully onto the moon. And then you start seeing that the moon gets dark again with the waning gibbous. Um, um, the rest is pretty much the same. You just have to reverse the order and change wax to wane. So you, it's like the opposite of the waxing. And it goes on and on and on and on. And the moon takes 29.5 days to change from the first into the last phase. Apollo 11 was the first spacecraft to bring men onto the moon. And the first person on the moon is Neil Armstrong. And if I could remember from my research, I think he died in 2012 due to heart confusion of heart surgery. I think I probably need to do more research, but I don't know. We're already doing this video, so I don't care. And time for our next experiment. But before I get to it, this experiment was from the Smithsonian. Sorry, I, I have probably a cold, but um, I, but this is the Smith, the Smith, <laughs> that's just a bit complicated name. The Smithsonian Mega Science Lab. It helped me get this. It's, if you see here, it's the Earth model, and and I'm gonna do all six of these exper experiments every week. So stay tuned every week for these experiments. Now the model of the Earth and Moon. I really hope this thing doesn't fall on me. This stuff is very fragile, so be careful. The moon is going 
going around the Earth, so like he, the moon, like if when it's daytime for us in North America, it is nighttime in places like Australia, Europe, um, dang it, I cannot remember, what? Asia, <laughs> sorry, I just needed the camera person to tell me how. And the moon, and again, the moon is just spinning around the earth, so, like, look. And whenever it is nighttime for us, it is daytime for Europe, Asia, and Africa. And these white parts um, are like the same thing when I cut in half. half. Like for this part of the North and South Pole, it would be nighttime, but for the other half, it would be daytime. So I take North America again. We are north, um, northwest of the Earth, I think. No, northeast. Um, yeah, we're northeast. So that is what you need to know. Uh, well, this is just the basics of of the moon phases and what the moon does whenever it spins around the earth. It's just really fun to do this. Whee! Bye guys. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll really help my channel. And bye.